thank you gentlemen for being here today. Thank you. You are true extraordinary artists. I, can I just say love your work. My name is Steve. Uh, I am co-owner of La Casa del Cervecchio Cafe. Um, the history about us, we started the business when, probably 12 years ago. Uh, started out of our home uh, in 2006. I guess before that, my brothers were in high school and they were taking uh, culinary courses and uh, they excelled in the baking portion of it. And I was doing my undergrad in business, so Right there, the three of us already had kind of like a skill set to kind of put together for our business, but I don't think we knew it yet. And about 2009, we opened up our first shop in Sobico. And in 2012, we opened up our shop here in Kildare, in Sobico. And it went from three people to 23 people in 12 years. The fact that everybody thinks everything's just poured into a pan and out comes a work of art, where most people don't understand how long things take how much of a science baking is, uh, how not easy it is to do, uh, the long hours, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Therapies would probably be the, the looks on customers' sick faces when they're happy. Um, that makes us, you know, feel good about what we do. Um, struggles, <laughs> flip side of the coin. If, if you have people that complain or that it's, it's not good satisfaction or what have you, it will, because you're a small business owner, weighs on you, you kind of take it home with you. So that's never fun. There's ups and downs about working with your family. The good thing is they're always going to be there for you. You kind of do it together. Uh, we're a very close knit family, so we all kind of look out for each other, support each other. So that definitely would probably be the biggest thing. Um, and, you know, when you're doing and working with family, you kind of have that bond that is. A little bit different than your regular employees that aren't families. It's great, we would never change it, but it's, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, and um, probably rising costs, probably every month. It's, it's just a tremendous challenge to keep the business afloat when everything every month is just going up and it doesn't matter. I think the one thing for us uh, beyond the traditions is that we're young, right? Like there's not a lot of, and I just try and scope the market all the time. Um, a lot of bakers are like founded on people that are our parents' age that are still doing it. Now, like, you see a lot of shops and stuff open up, but that are our age, but they'll put it closed down because once you realize how much stuff has to go involved and how much life, how much of your life you have to give up, people don't really last. So that is really, I think, a big turn of what sets us apart. To not lie, it's hard. Um, I think people think that they see, you know, people on TV or social media or whatever, like, oh, their own business, they can bigger than millionaires. You're not going to have to start, and if you really want to do it, you will. You just have to push through all the, the really hard times, and that might last a while, right? But uh, I would definitely say to, to pursue it just because, you know, Canada and the U.S. were built on small businesses that became global empires, right? So you don't know unless you try, and if you don't try, you'll pick yourself later for not trying.